In this tutorial, I want to go over the basics of images and hyperlinks. You can't do a whole lot with the web page if you don't link to other pages. That's the whole meaning of hypertext, and that's uh, one of the main reasons the HTML was invented, so we could link to other pages. Of course, occasionally you have static pages, but um, you don't want to have to always have static pages. All right, so we have here our image, and this is an image tag, IMG. And it's not going to do a whole lot without a source. Unless you're using JavaScript or jQuery, um, you're really going to always need to have that source attribute as well as for the anchor tag, you'll need to have the href attributes. So for the image here, um, you want to put the name in for that image. Notice that it has an extension of JPEG. Photographs will usually have a JPEG extension. The other one that they might have is a PNG extension or a GIF extension. Those are really the three main file types that are accepted by all browsers. GIFs are generally used for cartoony or line art uh, images. Pings can be used for photographs or line art. JPEGs are generally used for photographs. Each one compresses in a different way. Um, just note that JPEG is probably the most common. GIFs uh, might be as common or as a close second. Um, and you can have animated GIF. So if you just Google animated GIF, then you'll get a whole bunch of um, replies for that. And that's the GIF format that's, that is specific for that. So JPEG, ping, or GIF. In this example, I'm just using a JPEG. One other note is between ping and JPEG, this isn't always the case, but oftentimes a JPEG will compress to be smaller, but a ping usually looks better. A, a, a ping is, is generally a higher quality compression than a JPEG, but, but it will often be a higher fi file size. All right, so um, the other attributes with your image is gonna be width and height. Now this is not the actual width and height of that image, so Dreamweaver is gonna allow me to easily get that. I mean, I could go in and look at the properties, but this is another easy way. In this program, it shows me what the original width, width and height is of that image. So you can see how when I switch to that um, original or, or default might be a better way to put it, default width and height, then I get this image size. This is the image size of this uh, Spaceman image when I downloaded it off the web. I obviously didn't take this image. I wasn't there to take this. So I'm repurposing um, another person's image here um, for this educational usage. No money is being made off of this image. All right. Um, Dreamweaver also allows me to modify this image, so I can just click on this, and if I hold down Shift, it'll scale it, I believe, proportionally. And now I have a width and a height there that has changed, so you see how it scales it proportional. A nice thing about width and height is that you can also just go kind of crazy. If you want, you could um, scale the image as a width of one pixel. Note these are all in pixels, or and a height of... 900, right? So this is going to look crazy. Um, let me give it a little bit of depth here. So I can kind of see it. There we go. So you see how that image is only 10 pixels wide and 900 tall. So, you know, you can modify that for what you choose. But usually, of course, you want it to be viewable. And we're going to go with the size that I originally had at the beginning with a 413 height of, of 309. One other tag that you're always going to want to use is called the alt tag. It stands, stands for alternative. And that is going to make it um, compliant so that if the image doesn't show up, you'll at least have default text. And this is great for, um, for browsers where you need screen readers. So even if the image does show up, if someone is visually impaired, it will read to them what is contained in the alt tag. So you probably want to have some, some useful information here. Space man walking on moon okay so now the screen reader would read that text spaceman walking on moon and then in addition as i mentioned if the if the image doesn't show up it would show that okay i'll go ahead and save that up and i'm going to go ahead and uh, look at page two page two is very similar a similar image different but similar and we got our width and height and then i would add an alt tag if i wanted to use this in the real world and then also we have our index right here that goes back to page one, or excuse me, our anchor that goes back to page one. All right. This is my anchor that I mentioned last time. The anchor tag, href, uh, is that attribute, stands for hypertext reference. Now to see this in the real world, come back here, check it out in Firefox, 
and go back to page one other page now the last thing I do here is just make it so the image is linkable that's super easy to do and I'll go ahead and go back to my index my first page and it's easy all you got to do is put the image link between the opening and closing anchor tags so I'll take out that text and I'm going to replace that content with my image so I just copy and paste that image tag paste that in there and so anything that you have between the opening and closing anchor tag will be linkable all right so I could have that image I'll put a break tag in there and then I'll say link to page two so now in this case since this all is contained between the opening and closing image tag it will all be a hyperlink I'll save that up uh, and I'm going to refresh this page bring that back over and there we go so now when I roll over it you see how the hand changes in uh, the cursor changes into a hand and if I click on that it goes to page um, page two